can't speak for anyone else. But I've always found that my life goes from achingly uneventful and empty of changes and things to feel any strong emotions about to being so full of all the possible events that could happen that I can't possibly process all the emotions that I should be feeling at once. My week in Hay on Y was one of those times. One of those times where plans overlap and good news is chased by bad news, which is followed by exciting news. Luckily, my week in the Welsh bookshop town was exciting news. It was everything that it was supposed to be. A week spent in and out of bookshops with my family. It was a summer holiday, right on the edge of summer, the very tail end. And it was in Wales. So I had my docks and my denim shirt and my jeans. I even had a scarf and a cardigan and a raincoat. But it's what. But the rain and the slight cold. Well, that makes it a proper British family holiday, doesn't it? I guess. And it seems to me. That a family holiday is a time for old loves and old losses to be reboxed and wrapped in new paper and handed right on back. Especially as an adult who's left home, who hasn't left behind all the feelings and the old guilt or anxieties or... Things that I was excited about and interested in. I suppose most of us regress in some way to our younger selves. When back with family we haven't seen in a while. I laugh loudly and freely with my brothers and my dad and my stepmom. And when I'm on holiday with my mum's family as well, I laugh just as loudly. I won't lie. There were times when I felt anxious for the control that I have when I'm living on my own where I live now. But we all do once we've left home, I think. And it doesn't make it any less magic and lovely and special to see your family again. As you will have seen from my mini sketchbook tour and book haul video, which I'll link in the cards above and in the description below. Despite being a bookish person who spent a week in a bookshop town, I only bought three books. I'm not very good at buying things. I'm very good at talking myself out of buying things, but I'm not very good at actually buying things. So I'm quite proud of myself for buying the three books I bought. And as a bonus, none of the books were expensive. So I was able to buy them without worrying too much about dipping into savings. And I'm also proud of myself for managing to find time to do half a page in my sketchbook every day. Because while I can sketch quite easily in front of strangers, I struggle in front of people I actually know. So getting my sketchbook out in front of my family is kind of a big deal for me. Thank you.